my name is Deborah Shore. I'm a member of the Board of Commissioners of the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District of Greater Chicago. So the Great Lakes collectively, and there are five of them, hold nearly 20% of the world's fresh surface water. And uh, it's said that I believe between 30 and 40 million people in eight U.S. states and two Canadian provinces depend on those lakes for their drinking water. And then, of course, there are major industrial uses, and they provide an important fishery, uh, both sport and commercial, and a host of other uh, services. Uh, the lake levels historically fluctuate, and there are charts that you can see on the web that the, uh, I believe the Army Corps of Engineers or others maintain. However, in late January of this year, Lake Michigan hit an all-time historic low level, a new low, uh, lower than it's ever been before. Since then, it has risen by more than a foot uh, because of recent rains and spring snowmelt, uh, but it is challenging for uh, shipping and for recreational boat use because the harbors now, the, the lake level is lower and they have to dredge. And the scientists believe that the largest reason the lake has dropped is evaporation. And that may be partly a result of climate change because the lakes are freezing later in the fall and thawing earlier in the spring and that allows more water to evaporate because it doesn't have the ice cover throughout the winter. Since uh, 2008, we've had two of the wettest years on record, 2008 and 2011. So we've had four storms in the last five years that have had about five inches of rainfall in a 24-hour period, and, and some of that is in a much shorter period and we had a severe drought in 2012 so we are seeing I believe more intense more localized and less predictable rainstorms and that's caused severe flooding a lot of property damage and uh, degraded water quality in our streams and rivers you'll hear increasingly people talk about the water energy nexus because it takes a lot of energy to treat water, to move water, to pump water, to clean water. I'm told that in California, 19% of the energy use there involves water, moving water, treating it, and so forth. So the more we can conserve water, we're also conserving energy. 